trucks. I used to be a school administrator uh, for 25 years, so I ended up driving buses as, as a fill-in as I needed to, uh, driving bus to school events, those kinds of things. And then once I retired from school administration, then I moved into uh, driving for uh, my company. It's an oil field related company and uh, most of the, the equipment is going to be uh, frack related. Uh, this vehicle is a bigger, heavier vehicle. It has air brake system. It has a larger trailer. It's a bigger vehicle. Uh, shifting is a little bit more of a challenge because it's a 10 speed transmission whereas uh, your buses are an automatic. And uh, so you have to learn how to upshift, downshift, uh, back, forward, uh, all, your, all your rules of the road making your wide corners when you come around corners there's quite a bit to learn there so uh, it's, it's, it's very important that you have good training and, and make sure that you're ready for the road because it's a big heavy vehicle and we have to be safe. So this task right here is called the corridor and what we're doing is we're picking up a weight and dragging it through a zigzag course uh, dropping it on one end in this particular crane we get three minutes each pass and have to go back the other way after that. I'm from Danville, Indiana. Um, I'm a biology graduate from Franklin College in Indiana. And I came up here uh, to pay some student loan debts off. I've been up here for 14 months, enjoying life and trying to get my loans paid back. I uh, actually applied for 72 jobs online before I came out here uh, with a college degree and one year of medical school under my belt and uh, got zero responses back. So that was somewhat frustrating. and. Uh, I think it was partially due to the fact that I didn't have a place of residency in town and everyone out here wants to see that on a resume so I figured I could come out here where the, where the salary is really high and try to find a relatively cheap cost of living at a, at a place and hopefully get some savings uh, in addition to paying off my loan debt and then maybe go back home in 10 or 15 years and be ahead. <laughs>